This week's box might be a little bit quicker than usual. This is quartz or things that look sort of like quartz to me when I put them in the box. And these are self-collected probably mostly from Lake Superior but a few uh, here in Lake Huron also. So when you're walking down the beach and you see a kind of white rock, uh, quartz rock, they're kind of translucent and they really stand out from the other rocks and you think, wow, that's going to really shine up pretty in the tumbler. And they do. They get very shiny. Uh, no complaints about the shininess. The problem is, in a lot of cases, they're just sort of plain. That one's kind of nice. I like that one. I mean, so I, I would bring some home if you're out rock hunting, but I don't pick up nearly as much of this as I used to. I, it's got to be a really good piece before I'll pick it up because it just sort of all looks the same after a while. I, I really like something with some sort of markings on it. Sometimes you'll find it in yellows. I don't know if all of this is quartz, like I said before. That one is, probably. Um, and and they, they really do look nice out in the sun on the beach. Uh, I don't think that's quartz. But it's in here, so we'll take a look at it. So this one, I know where this came from. Well, I know one of two, no, I know exactly where this came from. Um, this is local. Uh, I found two rocks of this green color. Uh, it's a green quartz and it's kind of got, let me see if I can get the light to shine on it. It's got little pits in it. See the little pits in there? So it's not a perfect rock, but I really like the color a lot. Uh, and I found a, a one in a farm field. Around here we have, uh, rocks in our farm fields. So all the farm fields uh, in northeastern lower peninsula at least uh, have rock piles in them. So I was looking through a friend's rock pile uh, they have in their their land and uh, found this rock that uh, we cut it in half. It's in my son's room and uh, I think he has both halves in the room. It's not polished or anything although this summer I think I might polish one half of it. Uh, another one I found out in the woods it was all broken up by the frost. And the one I found out in the woods, uh, I took some of the, a few pieces of it home and I sliced it up in the saw. And if you saw my video on turtles, making the turtles, I used it for a lot of turtle bottoms with Toski stones or some other rock for the top and then a green rock for the bottom. So I did a pretty good job of that. This is probably my favorite rock in the whole batch. It's one of the just white ones, but it's really white. And I think looks really nice. What's that? Looks like a piece of glass or something. I don't know how that got in there. I don't think that's quartz. Or if it's quartz, it's not the fine kind you find on the beach. So I think I'm gonna keep this video kind of short. Look through here at a couple of these, but these don't do too much for me, so if nothing else, it might educate you about why I don't pick up every piece of quartz I see on the beach. It might catch your eye in my videos and you go, why isn't he picking that up? Well, I have, and it just doesn't excite me too much. The other thing with it, see the cracks in here? There tends to be fractures in this stuff. Uh, and I don't really like fractured rocks, so a lot of these pieces of quartz are fractured. Here's another example. Get that to focus. See the big crack in that? There's no way to get that out of there. I could put a chisel and break it in half right there, but then it's a little tiny rock. Here's another one with cracks in it. I don't know that this one's quartz. So there you go. Kind of boring this week, but uh, I promise next week I'll show you something more fun. Ooh, that's, I don't think that's quartz. I think that's banded shirt. That's a nice one. Okay, take it back. I just showed you pretty rock. No promise about next week. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.